All right, folks, so welcome back. This is going to be a shorter tutorial on how to publish your open educational resource specifically in LibreText. We're just going to talk a little bit about how you know when you're ready. So I've had a couple of faculty reach out and say, Rachel, what do I need to do before I'm actually ready to publish? And this is what I'm going to tell you. Double check the content. Make sure that it actually aligns with your course and you're good to go. Check that there are attributions on every page and then check every page for accessibility. So things that we're gonna talk about in the short demo, how to go to edit properties and change things in your conductor page to show that it's complete. We're gonna talk about the classification from construction. We're gonna talk about making sure that you have all the descriptions saved in your project description. We'll go to timeline and actually show you where the publishing button is. And then I'll show you how to send an info LibreText.org to ask for it to be switched from a workbench URL to a published URL. And that's basically all we're gonna do today. So when you get here, of course, you're gonna always need to log in. All right, and you're gonna go to your conductor page and we will do it with the same book. And once you're here, if you love the book just the way that it is, you've gone through every single page you have thought, you know what? I love all of the images. You've added an image to every single page by clicking this. And you've gone to the page settings and you've added an image in for every single page. You've added in a little page summary. Maybe you've gone through and you've added in your licensing that you want for every single one. You've added any tags so that other people can find it. You've done any other page settings that you want for every page. You've added an image. You've gone through the actual chapters themselves to make sure that they have accessibility standards and that everything's the way you want it. And you look at your whole book and you think, yeah, it's done. It's ready for students to use it. Maybe I'll make a second edition in a semester or two, but it's ready. You're gonna go back here to your project page and you're gonna go to edit properties and make sure your project title is the way you want it. Under status, you're gonna change it to completed, okay? And then under this, you're gonna make sure that it is constructed, okay? And then add in any other elements here, any project tags, your CID, a thumbnail image for your entire book that you might have, any other metadata that you might have. And then you hit save changes. Okay, I'm gonna hit cancel because I'm not actually publishing right now. And then you're gonna go to timeline and you're gonna go to the construction roadmap, which might be a separate thing up here at the top. And then over here on steps, you're gonna scroll down to steps, okay? And you're gonna go to where it says publishing and you're gonna click this big blue button, publish text. And that will automatically send a note to LibreText that it's been published. However, if you are concerned and you wanna make sure, you can also take this right here and send them an email, okay? So mine's right here. And in this email, you're gonna put workbench, please move, please move, please publish and move from workbench, workbench to bookshelf, bookshelf. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in the link to the URL itself. Now you're like, Rachel, what is that link? That is this link right here. See how right up here it says workbench? That means that right now only you and the people in your project have access to this and anyone who is part of the conductor might be able to have access to it. But your students cannot see this because it is not published for students yet. So you need this to be moved from workbench to a bookshelf. So you actually are gonna tell them, hey, can you please take this link? So you copy this whole link right here. Can you move this from workbench to a bookshelf? And you're gonna tell them the author, which is probably you. If you authored, aggregated it together, you are the author and aggregator. So that would be you. If you wanna put a publisher, you can put your institution that you came from. You can also put down what date you're actually gonna start using this in your class. If you already have been using this in a Word document and you've just uploaded it here, you can be like currently using it. If you're gonna start using it in the next semester, you could say, I'm gonna start using it fall of 24 and I'd like it accessible to my students. You send this link and you send it out to them in an email and then they will get back to you and they will send you a new link to say your book has been published. And at that point, you're gonna have some other really cool things that you can do. So some expectations for you. When you send this email to them saying, hey, here's the workbook workbench link. Here's the author that I want on it. We'd like it available for students to start using in the fall of 24. They will automatically publish it for you. Now, Delmar Larson told me in an email, it takes about two to four days to publish. 
they use a lot of student workers for a lot of things. So you've got to remember this is a nonprofit. We are not paying them. You can pay them to have their student workers do things faster. But remember, we're not paying them if this is a, you know, a free thing. So you've got to really think about mitigating your expectations. And then for harvesting requests, if you're not going to do any of this publishing and building yourself and you're just going to send them basically a Word document or a Google Doc and say, hey, can you harvest this for us? It can take anywhere from two weeks to six months to harvest it because they're having their student workers basically copy and paste this content into a digital interface for you. So really make sure you're mitigating your expectations. However, if you've built it all out in LibreText, I have found it takes between two and four days for them to send you a published link. Once you do this, you will get LMS integration. This means that there will be an option for you to download a PDF. There will be options for you to download an IMSCC file to integrate it directly into your Canvas course. And I will make another video on how to integrate into an LMS. And then we'll talk about printing costs. So you can print at cost with OERs and it basically means you're just paying for the printing services and you can do this through LibreText and it works pretty great. So onward we go on that, that's how you publish. I will do a really quick one also on how to integrate it into an LMS specifically and then be able to move it around within your modules. So happy OER hunting and you guys can do this. I believe in you all.